right, ready? Here we go. Is that, are, we, are we good? Are we good? The distance and everything and the, the, the noise and all that, good? I think it's good, right? My head was like this the first couple of weeks. Right. And uh, I got letters and complaints. Well, you've uh, you 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 got, right you got a huge moon face anyway, though, haven't you? You've have got a, a huge face. <laughs> I have a lot of face. I do have a yeah. big face. Too like much space for the head. It goes around the side. It goes around the bro. side. Like, yeah, like, it's almost like, like, oh, like a line. Oh, my hair is terrible. Oh, honestly, my hair is a, a, it's an atrocity at the back. But it's it looks horrible. very, uh, it looks very uh, clean and posh. Well, like, yeah, because if you don't see, I, I, I cut it in the mirror. So it's, I just cut what I can see. <laughs> Oh wow! So from behind, it's just gonna be awful. From uh, any from the sides or from from behind, yeah. Yeah. Uh, hey, how are you with Zoom? Are you are you good with Zoom? I would I would assume you're not. Um. Hold on. Have we started? Oh yeah. Oh sorry. It's a new, we, we, uh, <laughs> it's a new <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm better at my job. I, I was just having a talk. I didn't know we started. Um. Yeah. I like um. I, I'd never heard of Zoom like four weeks ago. Now I'm using it all the time. And for things like this, it's better for me because I don't need to sit anywhere near you. You know what I mean? So um, also I don't have to get dressed up and like I'm naked from the waist down. So that's what it is. There you go. That makes two of us. My hands. Are... <laughs> yeah, Here's but one hand. You, Here's one hand. You don't get depressed when you look down. <laughs> <laughs> I sadly, I sadly do. <laughs> I get I, it humors me a little bit. I laugh when I look. Down. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Were you all set for the quarantine? Are you? Were you fully stocked? Do you have all your supplies? Yeah, yeah. Um, I've always got enough booze in the house for a nuclear winter, so that was <laughs> that was never different. We yeah. have our shopping delivered. Yeah. No, I mean like I toilet, toilet have... paper. Toilet paper was a big deal. Yeah, but I. No, as long as I've got booze, I don't care about toilet paper. I, honestly, I would, I would swap my last toilet roll for a bottle of beer if I didn't have anything in. <laughs> I use, I use, you can, there's no substitute for beer and wine. But, you know, there's books, there's grass. We, we, <laughs> we, <laughs> I <don't>, books! <laughs> People haven't got their values right. Dude, People oh my gosh. over toilet rolls idea. instead of booze. There's something wrong. Dude, Charmin should come out with a book, a set of books where you just rip the page out. Yeah, exactly. You can, you can, you can substitute that. You don't need the B-Day. I've never used a B-Day in my life, but, you know, that would come <laughs> into its own, wouldn't it? That would be... <laughs> hey, I gotta say, you know, I loved Afterlife, the first season. Uh, I think what a better time than now for season two to come back. Uh, I, I think it's funny. Uh, I think it's uh, touching uh, and, and moving. Uh, and I know, I know we talked about it already with the first season, but you really did it. It was great. I loved it. Thank you very much. Yeah. Um, it's about a man who's, who's going through the seven stages of grief, but it, it's funny as well. And, um, you know, he, he's trying to, it asks the big question, if you lose everything, is life still worth living? And that and that's the premise of the show. Um, but uh, it is, now, it is people advice. are thinking about that now, kind of more than ever. They're going like, "Hey, wow! I was doing a lot of stuff that I didn't even think I could survive without." And and I, we are. I agree, and I think people are starting to realise what matters. People are phoning their family more, or zooming their family, or skyping their friends. And I think that people are realising that it is those little things that matter, and it is the things that you don't think you miss until they're gone. And the show's about that, that the normal things in life sort of save you. His dog, you know, he nearly, he nearly kills himself, but the dog's hungry and that gives him long enough to think, okay. But you know, the dog sort of metaphorically and literally saves his life. And I think that's true as well. I think pets are so important in, in this time. And um, yeah. the, the dogs, you know how much I love dogs. I know you do, they're, they're, they're just incredible. They're off the charts, they're the best, they're the best invention ever. <laughs> <laughs> they really are great. I, I, I'm surprised my dog's not in here right now because she's been all over me all day and maybe she's got tired of me. They must be loving it that their they're, they're parents are home. They're, you know, that must be I great know. for a dog. It, it, is yeah. she or is she like, get out, I need my space? I don't, I don't think dogs are like that. I don't think dogs go, do you know what? I need a little bit of time. 
I've just got time to think. A dog would just go, what do you want to do? Whatever you say, you go, that's the best idea ever. Do you want to go out? Yes. Do you want to go home? Yes. Everything's the best. <laughs> everything's the best thing ever. Yes to everything. So yes to everything. Yeah. A dog, uh, you'll never walk into a dog and it'll go, uh, I'm busy. They're just, they're there. What do you need? What do you need? Do yeah, you need a kidney? Like, Let's go. Yeah. Party? Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. You're like a, you're a bit like a dog. You're like a big puppy, aren't you? <laughs> you're always on. You're always there. You're ready. You're always ready. I'm, I'm always more ready. Like yeah. I'm like I that. Have big, yeah. I have a bigger head. I have a bigger face than a puppy. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You'll grow into it. You'll grow into it. <laughs> uh, you know, you uh, we we talked about uh, different charities and if there's anyone, and you just said in general, let's just help any animal charities right now if we can. There's so many, and they're all so in need more than ever now um you know like even like pet rescue centers uh are, are in trouble there are so many good uh, local rescue or aspca are great that's the you know nationwide um so yeah if you can even just follow one or donate a little bit if you can uh it really it really makes a difference and you know it, it, it it's um it's great that you're doing this as well because Things like this, people, you know, they don't think about it. They, you know, they think that everything's carrying on and everyone's worried about themselves, quite rightly. It's a tough time, but uh, all those things are still going on. Animals are still in need. They're still suffering. They're still being made homeless. Yeah. And uh, that's, what, that's one of the reasons that I do, you know, probably do more for animals than any other charity because they, they can't speak up for themselves, you know, except parrots, obviously. Do you think if you're a parrot, you're basically on your own at this point? They can call emergency services. <laughs> they go, I'm starving. <laughs> I'm starving. Yeah, but, but don't you think that the paramedic could hear that it's a bird calling? No, it could. No, it could be just be a, a strange little man. <laughs> <laughs> and we're just laughing at ourselves. Everyone at home was not laughing at all. I know, you gotta laugh, you gotta laugh. Uh, yeah, you have to. Um, Ricky, you always make me laugh, you always make me happy. Thank you for playing that game even though you didn't want to. And uh, Afterlife is on Netflix, it is fantastic, season two. Uh, keep it up, buddy, and I really can't wait to see you in person. I miss you. Thanks, man, see you soon. Stay safe. Okay. Uh, uh -huh. on and on and on. Uh, I said. And it's on and on and on.